Mickey Hargitay and Jane Mansfield were one of the most famous Hollywood power couples of their day. Together, they brought daughter Mariska Hargitay into the world, who would later follow in her parents' footsteps by pursuing a career in acting. Mickey Hargitay was a famed bodybuilder and gifted acrobat, and although his wife, Jane Mansfield, was clearly the bigger star of the two, he did attain minor celebrity status as well. They were two gorgeous people, and the public of the late 1950s and early 60s couldn't get enough of them. Sadly, as great of a team as they seemed to make, their ironclad relationship was destined for tragedy. Join Facts First as we take a closer look at the factors that brought about the tragic end of Mickey Hargitay and Jane Mansfield's romance. From Euro Mr. Universe to American Star. Long before Arnold Schwarzenegger went from being a bodybuilding meathead to action movie star to governor, another muscle man from Europe successfully made the transition from being a male bodybuilding contest winner to star of the big screen. This former Mr. Universe turned Hollywood actor, Mickey Hargitay, even captured the attention of one of Hollywood's biggest sex symbols of that era, Jane Mansfield. Miklos Miki Hargitay was born in Budapest in 1926. He was one of four children raised by their athletic father. As such, Miki and his brothers were likewise raised as athletes. When he was still young, Hargitay and his brothers formed an acrobatic act that proved to be quite popular throughout Hungary. They even got the chance to perform at the largest opera house in Budapest. Hargate was introduced to the sport of speed skating by his brother, and in 1946, he won the Middle European Championship at the 500-meter and 1,500-meter races. He further placed second in the 5,000-meter race. Hargate was also a fairly proficient football player, as well as an accomplished underground fighter during the Second World War. In 1947, Hargate left Hungary behind and set out to the U.S., where he settled in Cleveland, Ohio. It was there he met his first wife, an acrobat named Mary Burge. With her, Hargitay had a daughter named Tina, born in 1949. For some time, he worked as a carpenter and plumber, while also performing alongside Burge in an acrobatic act. Hargitay became interested in bodybuilding after seeing a cover of a magazine that featured Steve Reeves, the famously ripped actor who played Hercules. In 1955, he became the National Amateur Bodybuilders Association's Mr. Universe. After winning that title and divorcing his first wife, he joined Mae West's Muscle Man Review at the Latin Quarter nightclub of New York. It was there he met his second wife, Jane Mansfield, whom he married in 1958. Mansfield showed up at the nightclub one evening to enjoy a bite to eat. When asked what she'd like, she told her server she'd like a steak as well as the man on the left. It was lust at first sight, but that lust ultimately gave way to a great deal of love and connection. What Jane Mansfield wanted, she got. It didn't take long after Mansfield laid her eyes on Mickey Hargitay for the two to fall madly, deeply in love. And seemingly overnight, they'd gotten married. These two stars combined formed one of the most visually appealing power couples that have ever taken Hollywood by storm. They appeared in a string of films together as co-stars. A few of these films include The Loves of Hercule, Promises, Promises, and Primitive Love. Even though the two enjoyed a great deal of both personal and professional successes, Hargitay still managed to keep a level head. He was once quoted as saying that even though he enjoyed what he did as a career, he never wanted to be anything more than what he was. Hargitay was quite the gentleman. He exuded genuineness and humility despite the fact he had a ton of accolades and success under his belt. Regardless of all that success, you would never have gotten that impression from him if you met him face to face. According to people who knew him, he seemed like a regular guy. Their marriage wasn't what either star expected. After Hargitay proposed to Mansfield in November of 1957, he and his bride-to-be began planning their wedding and deciding which A-listers would be invited. The first thing Mansfield had to do was finalize her divorce from her first husband, Paul Mansfield. She managed to accomplish this just five days before she walked down the aisle. In January of 1958, the couple held a press briefing where they announced their marriage would be a quiet affair, which was unusual considering how Jane typically embraced the spotlight. They picked the date January 13, 1958 to exchange their vows because the 13th was the day of the month they had met and the number 13 was also tied to Hargitay's Mr. Universe win and his acquisition of American citizenship. The pair allegedly had invited 100 guests to the event. 
Each received their invites on pink pieces of parchment, pink being Mansfield's signature color. Most of these invitees were fellow celebrities, and even though Hargitay wasn't thrilled about the idea of having 100 people at the wedding, he went along. Apparently, none of the stars Mansfield invited showed up to the ceremony, but even so, things still managed to get out of hand. Somehow, 100 invites turned into thousands. Reportedly, Mansfield barely even managed to make it to her own wedding due to the thick crowd of people encircling, hoping to get in. Ultimately, 1,500 guests and 2,000 reporters were in attendance when the couple finally tied the knot. Cracks began to form. While Mansfield and Hargitay enjoyed a relatively happy and prosperous marriage for the first few years as they lived in their Beverly Hills mansion, which came to be known as the Pink Palace, troubles began to arise that ultimately proved to be the undoing of their union. Before that, however, Jane and Mickey had three children. By the early 60s, though, Jane began seeking the comfort of other men. 20th Century Fox also notably didn't approve of their marriage. Mansfield's career had began in the 1950s when she was carefully groomed by the studio to become the successor to Marilyn Monroe. Her image was carefully maintained by the studio and resulted in a string of roles for the bombshell in comedies where she essentially played the classic dumb blonde. It was through this image, coupled with her iconic measurements, that Mansfield was able to craft a larger-than-life image in the early 50s. This continued to work for her and 20th Century Fox until she married Hargitay. The studio wanted their sex symbol star to be unmarried. Marriage didn't fit with their image of her as a submissive sex pot. But even though they tried their best to present her as some kind of bimbo, in truth, Mansfield was quite intelligent. Some reports even put her IQ at 168. But even though she managed to outsmart 20th Century Fox and ultimately marry the man of her dreams, after giving birth to her children, she started carrying on affairs with some of her fellow co-stars. One of these included a fling with Mansfield's It Happened in Athens co-stars Trax Colon in 1960. During the production of her film Panic Button in 62, she also had a passionate affair with the film's production manager, Enrica Bomba. At that point, she decided to file for a divorce. The pair reconciled in 1963, but that didn't solve their problems. Nor did Mansfield stop getting involved in romances with other men. Around this time, she reportedly even hooked up with President Kennedy, although this accusation has come under question in the years following. In 1964, she filed for divorce once again, this time announcing the news to the public with Hargitay by her side, unaware she was planning to leave him. After that, she married her third husband, Matt Simber. Hargitay, likewise, went on to marry his third wife, Ellen Ciano, in 1967. Hargitay remained with Ciano until his death in 2006 at age 80. Mansfield, however, tragically died much sooner. In 1967, she got into an automobile accident while driving to New Orleans after making an appearance at an engagement at the Gus Stevens Supper Club in Biloxi, Mississippi. She and her driver, 20-year-old Ronnie Harrison, as well as her attorney and companion Sam Brody, were all killed when the Buick they were in crashed at high speed into the back of a tractor trailer that had suddenly slowed down when it came upon a truck that was spraying mosquito fogger that clouded its visibility. Her three children, Miklos, Zoltan, and Mariska, were in the back seat of the car and fortunately survived. Mansfield was only 34 when she died. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Mickey Hargitay and Jane Mansfield were as significant as a power couple as the media made them out to be? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.